All right, so we're continuing our journey towards a better understanding of the base 12 version of Pi by me giving you the information in three minute or less videos. So in this video, we're gonna look at this diagram here. We're gonna take a closer look and now start really analyzing all the various components and going into the details. So first of all, this is a duodecimal diagram. That means we're using base 12 math, otherwise known as the Dosnal system. So all of the black numbers are gonna be base 12 numbers. But I have included some numbers in red, thus in base 10, just to help uh, the transitioning from base 10 to base 12, because obviously base 12 is a little bit unfamiliar for most people. So as we go down here, I'm also mentioning the Pythagorean theorem. I showed you in the last video how we're going to be using that, and that'll come up again in future videos. But for this video, I want to focus on the interior angles of the first ring of the circle. So or the diagram. So that first ring, if we start drawing lines between all the small circles, we create a polygon. So the formula that we're looking for is n minus 2 times, in base 10 it would be 180, in base 12 it's 130, the same number, and then we're dividing that by n, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. So uh, uh, lower down here we have two columns. The top one there, the short column, is just all the familiar or some of the familiar uh, degrees that we're used to again in base 10 and base 12 so you can see you know 15 30 45 works out to 13 and 26 39 but what i want to focus now is the next column where you can see we're counting in groups of 24 so 24 48 72 96 and base 10 those are the numbers of sides of each consecutive ring so we're starting with the first ring and then base 12 you can see it just goes 20 40 60 80 a, O, 100, and so on. So when we apply those numbers to that formula, we plug them in there, this is what the formula looks like. And you can see I've written it in both red and black. So the base 12 version in black, uh, the result is 119 degrees, and in base 10, it's 165. So that gives you an idea. You can see what that looks like. So that's the angle that's been formed inside the uh, polygon that's formed from all these circles when we're connecting the, the inside of these circles to each other. And remember those uh, units are a combination of the diameter of the circle plus that little bit of extra empty space that's left over when we divide the diameter into the circumference. So I think I'm going to leave it there for this video. We found out what the interior angles of uh, the first ring are. Now we're going to start progressing from ring to ring, going over all the steps needed to generate each consecutive ring and start to look also at the process for creating new degree lines. So we're going to look at how we do that in the videos to come. Hope you can join me for that. Thanks for watching.